goes man strange. The talent, my little sister Zoe, is thirteen now. I really love her. I think I owe her my life. I was seven years old when I was born. So I was excited to finally have a little sister. At first I was jealous that she was getting all the attention from my parents. I didn't pay much attention to her. Sometimes I was just downright mean to her. However, all had changed on the day I realized my little sister had a special talent. We were sitting on the couch watching TV when Zoe suddenly said, Daddy isn't coming home. Confused. What did you say, I asked. Daddy isn't coming home, she reported. I was quite unnerved by this and tried to question her further, but she wouldn't say anything more. About half an hour later, the phone rang. When I answered, there was a police officer at the other end. He sounded gravely serious. He explained there had been a terrific accident. My mother was in hospital with relatively minor injuries. But my father had been, not been so lucky. He died on the way to the hospital. Next few hours were a blur. I just switched off the TV and sat there in shock, staring at the blank screen. I was numb. They said Zoe was too young to grasp the situation, but she understood that Dad was gone. He wasn't coming back. Almost a year later, there was another incident. It was a warm, nice, warm, sunny day. Zoe and I were in the park. Zoe was playing on the grass when all of a sudden she stopped and pointed at something. There's a bad man over there, she said. We need to go. When I looked in the direction she was pointing, I saw a man nearby. He was dressed in a grey hooded sweatshirt. He had his hands in his pockets and seemed to be waiting for someone. But something about him seemed strange. Remembering me of our dad's death still fresh in my mind, I didn't question Zoe. I just grabbed her by the hand. Together, we hurried home. Next morning at breakfast, my mother was reading the newspaper. I noticed the headline on the front page. Mother and daughter stabbed to death in park. Beneath it was a picture of a man leading away. Picture of the police leading away a man in handcuffs. It was a man in a grey hooded sweatshirt. A chill ran down my spine. Any doubts I had before were immediately squashed. My little sister definitely had a talent. From that day on, I carefully, listened carefully to anything she say, had to say. I would write it down in a notebook I kept in my room. One day when Zoe was six years old, it happened again. We were at a restaurant when Zoe suddenly dropped her knife. And I thought, looked at my mother and I and said, Grandpa's gone. An hour later, my mother got a phone call telling her her grandfather had passed away in his sleep. Mum was very sad, but she had been prepared for the bad news. That was the last prediction for a long time. As the years passed by, I gradually forgot about my sister's talent. It got to the point when I began to dismiss it all, just as it all as just coincidence. However, last week, when my, when my girlfriend and I were spending some time together in our apartment, I got a test message. It was from Zoe. Zoe, I need to tell you something. Me? What is it? Zoe, I need you to listen to me. Zoe, I have a terrible feeling. Zoe, something is going to happen. Zoe, you and Megan need to get out of there. Zoe, go to a hotel or something. Zoe, just get out of there. Me? Why? What's going on? Zoe, I don't know. Zoe, I told you. What I know. Zoe, that's all I know. Me? Okay, I understand. Me? Bye, Zoe. I immediately grabbed my girlfriend, forced her to pack some things into a suitcase, rushed out of the apartment. We went to a nearby hotel and booked a room for the night. 
The next morning, I got a call from our neighbour. He said the apartment had been broken into, but strangely nothing had been taken. He heard strange noises. He called the police and they arrested the intruder. We had to go turn to the police station. Apparently, Megha's mentally unstable ex-boyfriend had broken into the apartment. He was armed with a knife. He had planned to kill us both. When my girlfriend heard that, she was dirtily dumbfounded. All she could say was, How did your sister know? Well, Zoe, we would both probably be dead. It still haunts me. Nobody else believes it. Even my girlfriend is still sceptical. But I know what happened. My sister has a talent.